can access the strength of, the strength of the gospel. Okay. Okay, thank you very much for your input. Thanks. Yeah, Benny Hinn said that uh, one thing that happens is the fact that when they do this thing, that they see that it is affecting people's faith. You know, that's why he he stepped out and then made correction. Let me get this one call. Hello. 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 Yeah. Good evening. Okay, I'm calling from Oka. Your name? My name is Tobias. Okay. Go on, ma. Let Let me tell you in the first place. Mm. With this type. It's in the Old Testament. Yeah. In the New Testament. Mm -hmm. This is a fraud. Some pastors are using to extract on their members. Okay. The truth is bitter. Mm. That Mary Berry Hinn, as she's going, as going not, uh, down in age, mm. he knows that there is a judgment. Yes. He so said he it. wants to exempt himself. Mm. He said so that it. God will forgive him. Mm, that's what he said. Yeah, it's nothing like tight for our New Testament, for mm. new Christians. Mm. Because those tight in Old Testament mm. say it's meant for the priest. And those priests don't have anywhere to plant or anywhere to do whatever. Yes. But most of our pastors have here, yeah, they plant laws, they have farm, they have this and that. Mm. They are professionals. Yeah. They are principal. Mm. That's the truth about it. Okay. It's a bit truth anyway. Okay, so what do you have to say about pastors who are still bent on the fact that you have to pay your tithe, you have to sue seed and the rest they of They know them. where they are going. They know that they are judgment. Maybe at the end of the day, they will apologize mm. and ask God for forgiveness mm. and tell the audience because they have to see what they want. Yeah, And yeah. then they tell the audience, see you, uh, as you mm. just like what is where he will just be. Yes, yes. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Yes, that's the truth. You cannot debate about it. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Understand? You. Yeah. So yeah. what people people need to know now? Go and read your Bible. Mm, yeah. Don't let people read and interpret for you. Yes, yes. Those mm. people that are lazy pastors, they're yeah. talking from people. Mm, yeah. That's the truth. Thank you very much for your input, man. Thank you. Okay. So the word of God says that this book of law shall not depart from you. You shall like you keep it close to yourself. You study it day and night. He didn't say you wait for your pastors to study it and tell you what they think. He said you should study it day and night. You know? Uh -huh. With that said, it's about time when I have to leave the studio. You know, let me apologize again for the, um, you know, breaking transmission that happened during our broadcast today, you know, doing this street report on Ebon at the 103.5 FM, you know? Um, Next week is going to be fun. Next week we are going to break it down some more. We are going to spend time to do this for everybody. All the calls that is coming in, you know, next week we'll spend time to dissect it more. You know, uh -huh. this is how I will call it a day on this particular edition of Street Report on Airborne at the 103.5 FM. I want to say uh, big ups. I want to give out love and respect to everyone that called today, everyone that paid attention, you know, uh, make sure that you don't touch this guy. Keep it locked right here. You know, street report, you know, will be here. You know, same time, you know, same station, same time of 4.30, same station of Ebon at the 103.5 FM. You know, uh, the message uh, is look unto God, Yahweh, Chukwe Kika Biyama, and nobody else. It is you. It is between you and him. Not between you and any other person. It's between you and him. You know? Uh -huh. With that said, uh -huh. Shalom. Keep it locked right here. I'll see you next week.